and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today I'm going to take you through a, uh, a bit of a look at the stuff that you can use yourself if you want to have your own YouTube channel or you would just like to do a bit of recording and editing for your family. Uh, I've got uh, all the best stuff for you, I think. Well, I th certainly think it is. So this is what I'm using currently. So if you're going to do screen capturing, um, what I use is NVIDIA's Shadowplay. So if you have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, uh, then you will already have this available to you. So you'll find it in NVIDIA Experience. We'll have uh, all the basic settings there. The other way of getting there is to go Alt-Z. And then you can see this menu that's up here in front. You can see you've got instant replay that does exactly what it sounds like. Um, it automatically, if you've got it turned on, will be constantly recording your last 5, 10 or 15 minutes or whatever you want to select. You can set it up to whatever time frame. And if you something really good happens and you, and you missed recording it or you weren't recording it in any other way, then you can quickly go back and grab that. It's really good. The instant, the recording here, that's what I'm doing. That's why it's green at the moment because I'm just doing a screen capture as I do this. Um, this is just so simple. Um, if you just, you're playing a game uh, like X-Plane 11 or DCS and you hit, uh, in my case, Alt F9, it will just record in the settings that I'll show you in a moment. Or if you go uh, Alt F8, it will do the broadcasting here. And it will broadcast out to um, whoever, whichever you've got it set up to do that to. And I do believe you can do multiples as well. You have your microphone here. You can set that up to be on, off, or on when you push a button. If you've got a camera and you want uh, people to see your ugly face, um, you can do that. And then you can put the, the image anywhere I think you want, whether it's in the corner or wherever. Here is your... Um, settings so who you, who I can connect to basically I've got this set up just for YouTube at the moment I haven't been doing anything else really um, very simple to do though if you've already got an account with YouTube or with uh, Twitch or whatever it was you just put your details in it saves it then you don't have to do anything within uh, X -Plane, uh, within um, X Plane or whatever game you're playing nor do you have to do anything inside like YouTube it just automatically does it all for you. It's just just a breeze. It really is. Um, let's see. Let's go back. Sorry, I must have pushed the wrong button there while I was yapping. Okay, HUD layout. This just allows you to see what's going on on screen. You can have uh, a little green circle will come up. Now, what do you see on the HUD? He doesn't appear on any recordings that you do. Um, that's why I know how many FPS I've got, yet you can see nothing on screen most of the time. So... Or if any, how many people are watching a stream, uh, it might come up here. You can move it around to wherever you want to have it. And uh, FPS, you can have that around here. It's just uh, viewers or FPS. You just click where you want it and you can move it around if you want. Just click it up here or over there or down there or whatever you want to do with it. It's pretty easy. So that's your HUD. Down here, keyboard shortcuts, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You, you can change those if you want, but... There's not really that much need. Uh, recordings, just where it's going to save your temporary file to and your main file. You can see it's in Gunny's. Uh, videos at the moment. Uh, broadcasting live. Um, I've got this again set up because I was doing a few uh, streams previously. Um, so it's all set up to go out at 1080p, 60fps. And uh, hey, it's just easy. You just hit the go button, the F f8 or alt f8 and it will start automatically streaming for you uh, highlights this is where you set up how long it records for you five minutes ten minutes or um, this is max maximum disk space so how many gig it'll record for so i don't use that one particularly um, audio this is a really good one as well now i'm having a lot of troubles with my own pc at the moment so this doesn't show how it would normally look unfortunately um, my inputs and outputs for all my sound have just died on this relatively new uh, motherboard. So I'm doing the recording of voice here on my uh, little uh, desktop, uh, laptop next to me here. So we'll sort that out soon anyway. But you can adjust your volumes. Normally there will be a game or system, excuse my sniffling, uh, game and uh, microphone levels. Uh, you can record also one channel and have everything mixed 
if you choose to do that, and I do that most of the time to be honest, um, I have the system sounds down at about 10 to about 15 and I have the microphone sound set up at about 90 but everyone's going to be different so you just need to change it around so you get enough um, say aircraft noise if you're flying in X-Plane 11 so it's always nice to know that you're in a plane you can hear the, the buzzing of the jet going on in the background but you can hear the voice clearly as well um, unfortunately you can't turn me off then so haha uh, the other way you can do it as well is you can actually set it up to have game uh, game game track and a audio track separately you can do that um, I haven't done that yet but uh, it's it's available and those who use it reckon it's really good so it's probably something I need to get my life around and sort it out it might make my uh, my life a little easier in the end as well um, what else we got video capture you can see here this is 4k I'm currently recording this in um, Nvidia 4k uh, bitrate how with sort of the quality how quickly that goes um, there's no limit to um, how long the recording may go for 60 FPS so uh, that's all there you can change it to whatever you want uh, we've got some notifications and privacy stuff there so that's all pretty much it it's just simple guys there is open broadcast as well if you need uh, if you've got a um, uh, AMD video card and you haven't got N Nvidia then you can certainly uh, use open broadcast. A lot of people use that. It's supposed to be pretty good as well. Um, I haven't used it. Um, one other thing, just while we're here, if you go down here to your settings on the NVIDIA side of things, being that I yarp on about this DSR all the time, I'll just show you quickly where to find it. So if you open up your NVIDIA control panel, you go to manage 3D settings, and you come down here to DSR factors. There's a whole range of them here. I just have the four times resolution selected so that works for me and I just leave it there and uh, but my desktop currently is not my desktop is in my native resolution which is 1050 by 1680 yeah it's a bit of an odd monitor I've had it for quite a while it needs to fall off the desk um, the DSR smoothness here now this again this really these two work together very much just like Andy Alsing anyway really but I like the performance I get out of this better than I, and the quality of the picture than I get trying to pump up the anti aliasing in X-Plane, for example. Um, there are some tricks, though, but uh, this one here, if you move it up, it normally comes at about 30, I think. Um, this will give you some softening of the edges, so it smooths it out a little bit. But uh, I've moved it around a bit, and really, I just put it at zero. I just like it there. But it's a personal choice, so you guys can do what you like with that as well. Okay, so that's just NVIDIA DSR. Um, let's close that up. Now, you want to do a bit of video recording and you want some free software. Let me show you. This stuff is awesome. And I I know just uh, a hair's worth of how to use this thing, to be honest. And it is just amazing. But it is free, guys and you can produce whole movies and whole movies and video clips are produced on this I was just watching a video clip about uh, Steve Vai the uh, pretty well-known guitarist he's pretty massive I, I've been to see him been lucky enough to do that in Australia and um, he has just produced his latest video clip with uh, with DaVinci Resolve 15 and uh, if you get to see the clip or if you're interested have a look for it I think it's out now here early in uh, January 19 um, or late January 19 um, everybody did their bits and pieces individually separately they were, they were not together you know Steve did his on his guitar and the drummer did his on his drums and the bass player did his thing and whatever all totally individually in front of a green screen so you can do that stuff as well if you would like and uh, just amazing it's just really good let me go into let me try this one I was playing with doing a new video intro video or something like that I haven't got too far with it so uh, ignore all the red stuff I've actually moved a lot of my video clips and things around that I had and now it doesn't know where to find them so it's uh, it's proving to be a little bit of an issue but I haven't been too keen on this one I've just been taught I toyed with it a little but what you can do just quickly is 
Um, this is the first, we've got a range of little selectors down here. The first one, really, you don't need to use it anymore. You can do it here. And what you do here is, is able to bring in all your video clips that you would like. All it does is creates a link between, uh, and you can do that as well. You can see how I can scroll through the, the little bit of video clip just on there. Um, you can do that on a separate video, video, video window here as well if you want to. Um, it, it will come up, it will give you two. You'll have the one you're looking at and the main output will come up here next to it. Um, but let me just go through the tabs for you. So you can just drag and drop stuff down here onto the video timeline. You can have many, many layers. That's very easy to do. Um, you can have up to 30, 31 audio tracks if you need just individual sounds to be used at particular times and you want to keep them all separated you can do all that uh, all your transitions are over here on the left video, tran video transitions well give my tongue's getting tied up today uh, the additive the blur cross dissolve there's there's just lots there's lots and lots of ones in here for you you can do it with your audio transitions as well between clips um, on your sound um, these are uh, not sure what these are actually generators open effects this is for doing 3d stuff i'm pretty sure filters audio effects and far light um got to tell you i have no clue i've got no clue about that stuff i haven't got that far into the program i damn well should because i could probably do some really good stuff <laughs> on top of it again but so we go there anyway so this is where you do it just it's drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop it's easy cut and paste you just grab this little fella here and you can just cut that there if you want you can grab it you can move it out you can stretch it around whatever you want to do with it if you go control Z uh, and control Z it's back to where it was beginning and again you can just and I think I need to do one more control Z there we are so if you bring the head up video head you can just see the little clip here I was just doing little clips, putting them together, bits and pieces. So there's a little, <gasps> a little preview of what might come out in the future. I haven't had time to get back to that yet. So that's your video editing page. And uh, let's see, you can drag this up and down as well if you've got lots and lots of video tracks and audio tracks and stuff. And you can, it's very easy to manage them. If you click on a track, and I'll just drag this back down. This is the inspector here. And with this, you can grab a clip. We bring the head up to it. Uh, and you'll see here, if I grab hold of, if I hit the inspector, I can zoom into it. You can zoom out. Do all sorts of things with it. You can wrote, position it left and right, move it around, up and down. You can have an anchor point. You can work on where it's going to pivot around. Uh, a rotation angle ah. so you can do all of that uh, you can crop things if you just wanted to um, focus on one little part this could be an image over the top of another image if you wanted it to be so do that you might have another background image uh, on another layer and this could be sitting above it and you just want this to take off in one corner and then you can grab that little bit and uh, and just move it around so we can zoom in and out we can move that and then our position we can just grab that whole clip and put it up here in the corner so you could have 50 of these little clips all playing at the same time if you want a bit like a mosaic so lots of things you can do with it but if we go control Z or we don't save it it'll go back to whence it was so that's all fine uh, the next thing that you can have a look at here and this one I don't know anything about but I'll just highlight this is where you can do a lot of your 3d stuff here these are called nodes basically you just plug these things different effects and things together here and they're non-destructive that is they don't they don't damage your clip in any way you can get it to do different colors you can do all sorts of stuff I'm not going to profess to know even a hair's amount of what this is capable of doing but if you see any professional video creators out there working with things like the Steve Vai um, video clip, there's nodes going all over the place and they're all different different, th different things. Um, they could be color correcting, they could be doing all sorts. But that's in there. Then this one is the easier version of the color corrector. 
So um, I tend to use this one a lot. What you can do is you can grab the little little um, black star there, and you look for something really really black uh, on the screen. Um, it's nothing that's really real. It's fairly dark over here. It's a bit dark there. Let me just click on that. So it's darkened it now. And what you do is then you grab the white. And then you look for the cloud. The whitest bit of cloud is probably that one there. And do that. And most of the time it works really well. But it, that one hasn't worked as effectively. But if you're doing it inside, um, inside the cockpit, then you could get down in the foot wells where it is absolutely black and you could uh, put the black down there and white on something that's really bright as well within the cockpit that hasn't worked very well it's not a good example but that's as simple as it is most of the time guys the next thing we can move along to is audio as you can see here we have 31 audio tracks that you can have so fill your boots on how much sound you want you can edit all of that stuff over here you can just drag it across if you have more you can watch what's going on here on your multiple audio levels uh, and tracks that you have got going and then the last one is probably the important one and that's the output how, however you want this video to go out and be seen so if you're going to put it out to YouTube you can put it out at 1080 Vimeo and there's a whole range of other ones here that you can use if you want to put it out I've been doing a few you may have noticed it actually at 4k um, that's pretty hard on my poor little system it, sometimes it just gives up the ghost and uh, dies mid-render which is pretty disappointing and I have spent whole weekends trying to render one damn video so I hope you like my videos guys because there's some sweat and tears and some tantrums in behind a few of them out there um, one very quick tip that I'll give you though if you're going to do anything like that if you hit control alt delete and you come up to the ta up here to the task manager if you go over to details and take a scroll down to you find um, our DaVinci Resolve if you right click on it and look for affinity affinity here um, this is controlling because I have eight cores with the 8350 that I currently have what you can do though is you can turn some of the cores off not turn them off in the system but you can limit uh, DaVinci Resolve just to use these two for these six cores and you can leave two cores there for the system to use on its own and I have found that has been a lifesaver uh, most videos I've been, I do now um, I can generally just get them out in one go without any uh, tantrums and tears uh, at all it, and it works really well so that's something you can do this does not affect any other program if I open up something else it'll have all the cores available to it but you don't uh, render a video and uh, do something else at the same time you just it's just not going to happen guys so anyway it, that's a quick one for you come down and turn off a few cores allow the system to have zero and one maybe and then leave the other cores you have available to uh, DaVinci and it's, it seems not to crash because it doesn't get maxed out and then it wants to do something else and then it runs out of processing power that seems to be the reason so uh, just a quick little tip for you and the last thing I think we need to do uh, is well, one we'll leave DaVinci and uh, we'll say don't save because we we're playing around with it the last little bit of software that you might find really handy is this one here called audacity now audacity is what I'm using to record the sound in this but it's on my laptop um, because I've no inputs as I said I, I can't show you anything much here but this is a great little bit of software um, free as I've already said you can analyze things if you want you can add effects there's so many effects that you can get you can also get um, cabinets and amplifiers and record guitars and do stuff in here if you want um, if you've heard some of my uh, dodgy solos that I've played over the top of backing tracks in a, a few videos I did a while back um, then that's how I did it I just recorded it into here and uh, and just played with it a little bit um, but the main things are bass and treble I tend to put a little bit of bass and treble on there because my mic is not very good um, and to try and just make that a little bit better I use um, a, you can use EQ if you want to 
um, I find that just as just as simple. Um, noise reduction is a great little tool. If you leave, if you have a track here, if you leave the first little bit clear, don't say anything, don't record anything, you'll see if there's any background noise from air conditioners and uh, lights or anything else that might be around. Um, earth buzz that might be on, on the system or something that you've got. Um, if you highlight it, go to noise reduction, hit take a sample, which is there's a top section and a bottom, hit the top one, it'll take a sample of that and then you highlight the whole thing and then run the run the noise reduction and it will take it away and you'll, that noise will just disappear. It's bloody awesome, it really is. So we've got some speakers here, um, no inputs at the moment so that's all a little bit hard. So um, well if I've got an input maybe I can get you, uh, just show you quickly what um, what it looks like. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, deals. What have we got? Just thinking desktop, libraries. Let's have a look in pictures, music. I don't think I've got anything in the music. Sample. Oh no, let's grab let's grab one of those. Just just see if it'll come in. No, it won't. Okay. I'm not gonna run around any longer. But it just comes up with a waveform through here. So uh, if you want to record you can use NVIDIA Shadow Play. You can use OBS to record stuff. You can get uh, for free uh, DaVinci Resolve to do your editing, guys. Lots and lots of videos out there. It's so, so simple um, just to do basic editing anyway to get started. And then you can get more creative if you want to. And if you want to do some extra stuff with your sound, you want to modify sounds or do different things, you can do backing tracks and all sorts of stuff here in uh, Audacity. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Just thought I'd show you what we have. Um, if you're new to the channel as always and you like what you see, um, check out the, well, the hundred and, I don't know, what, 110, 120 videos that are on the channel. All sorts of things from making airports, doing uh, scenery, uh, instructional flights, because I'm a real pilot and I have done real world flying. Um, try and help me out with you guys getting your skills up a little bit not that I'm no, no instructor but I try and uh, if you happen to be coming back for another dose of the channel thank you for coming back and supporting me really great to have you here and I will catch you all again very soon at Let's Fly VFR I'll catch you again soon bye bye